Hello dear students, welcome to the course of Engineering Thermodynamics. Myself, Mary Mistri, Assistant Professor from Mechanical Department of LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today we are going to continue our session on first law of thermodynamics and in particular we are going to discuss about filling and emptying process. So in order to understand the concept, let us consider the given diagram on the screen. So here you can see that we have one pipe line and in this pipeline some gas is flowing let us consider that and this pipeline is connected to this water through this tube and we also have one valve in order to control the flow of this gas into the bottle right so initially we will consider that this bottle is filled with some amount of gas and we want to completely fill the bottle okay we will consider the case of completely filling the bottle first Okay, so let us consider that. I hope you are clear with this diagram. Pipeline is there. Some gas is continuously flowing. Okay, and the pipeline is having larger diameter compared to the bottle. And bottle is connected to the pipeline through this tube and valve. Valve is provided to control the flow of the gas into the bottle. Okay, so now here in the beginning, let us consider that some amount of gas is present. So that is highlighted or the properties of the gas are given the subscript 1 okay so let us consider that the mass that is present in the bottle is m1 okay and the properties different properties for this gas which is present in the bottle is p1 t1 v1 u1 and h1 okay p represents pressure t for temperature v for specific volume h for enthalpy u for internal energy same way if the bottle is completely filled, so at that time let us consider if this bottle is completely filled with the gas, then consider that as subscript 2. So corresponding to that different properties are given like this. And the properties, same properties for the pipeline is given with the subscript P. Okay, so the pressure P, temperature P, so specific volume P, enthalpy P, internal energy P and velocity V P. Okay, so the pipeline properties are highlighted by subscript P. Okay. Now, what we will do? Simple. Energy of gas before the filling. Okay. So, initially before filling, what amount of energy will be there? So, simple students, see, we will consider this control system. Right. So, for corresponding to this control system, whatever amount of energy will be there, that we will write. See, here initially let us consider that some amount of gas is already filled. Okay, so let us do that. Okay, so here let us highlight it by a blue color. So initially let us say this much gas is already present. Okay, this much gas is already present and the mass of this gas is how much? M1 and corresponding property values are what? Subscript 1. Okay, so now if this much gas is present, then what we can write? Simple, corresponding to this gas, the mass is what? M1, right? And energy of that gas will be how much? U1, right? And since you know that gas is only present by some amount and the bottle valve is closed initially, so there will not be any... Uh, significant uh, kinetic and potential energy terms. So we know that energy E is having three terms that is internal energy, kinetic energy and potential energy. So internal energy and kinetic energy terms will be absent right now. So only M1 U1 will be there. Plus some gas is present over here that is about to enter in the bottom. See some gas is present over here in the pipeline that is about to enter in the bottom right amount of gas is ready to enter in the bottle okay okay students i hope you can appreciate this this whole uh, highlighted blue color gas is ready to enter but the valve is closed right now so if this much gas when the valve is completely open and if this much gas is entered into the bottle, then the bottle will be completely filled. And if the bottle is completely filled, then the mass that will be present there, that will be M2. Okay, so after completely filling, the mass is M2. And before completely uh, filling, initially the mass is M1. So that means what? How much this mass will be? So obviously this mass will be M2 minus M1. 
right? I hope you can appreciate this. M2 minus M1, that much mass will be uh, here right now. That is ready to enter. Okay, because after completely filling, the mass will be M2. And before filling, initially we are considering the mass is already M1. So, how much amount of mass will be occupied over here? M2 minus M1. Right? So, this M2 minus M1 is corresponding to the pi because this gas is corresponding to the pi. So, if this gas is corresponding to the pi, then for the pi gas, we have the value of property as subscript P. So, you know that the value of velocity will be Vp. Right, and the value of uh, let us say elevation will be zp. Right, so elevation will be not considered over here. The value of velocity right now for this pipe will be what vp. Right, so what we can write, we can write the energy of the gas before filling as simple c e1 is equal to m1 u1 because we are considering this whole system. Okay, so this will be our case while gas filling before before the filling process right so this is the our system so for this system two kinds of mass are there one that is already present in the model that is m1 u1 plus m2 minus m1 that is ready to enter in the bottle and what will be the energy it will be having it will be having the energy corresponding to the pi properties so pi properties are what i already told you that energy E is constituted of three terms that is kinetic energy, potential energy and uh, potential energy. So here the potential energy will be neglected. So we are left with kinetic energy and internal energy. Right? So Vp square by 2 plus U2. Okay? So this energy will be carried by this mass that is highlighted by blue color. Okay? So I hope you are clear up to this point. Now, let us move further. So, here M2 minus M1 is the mass of the gas in the pipeline and the tube which would enter the bottle. Okay. Now, energy of the gas after filling. So, after filling the gas, what will be the energy? So, obviously, after filling the completely the bottle, I already told you the mass will be M2 and the energy corresponding to that will be U2. Obviously, the kinetic energy will be zero because the bottle is completely packed. So, the kinetic energy of the molecules will be zero, right? And the potential energy will be also zero, right? So, that is why E2 is equal to M2 U2, right? I hope you are clear up to this point, right? Now, if I take the change in energy, then that will be delta E. Delta E will be equal to E2 minus E1. So, E2 minus E1, substitute the value of E2 and E1 over here, right? From these two equations. So, we can write equation like this. I hope you are clear up to this point. Right now, further, what we can do? Further, there is change of volume of gas because of the envelope of the collapse, collapse of the envelope. Right? See, here what will happen? Here some work will be done. Sir, how the work will be done? The meaning of this sentence is what? The sentence that is written over here. Now there is a change of volume of gas because of the collapse of the volume envelope. See. The meaning of this sentence is that, that there is some work done over here because of the collapse of the gas or collapse of the volume of the gas. See, what will happen? See, initially this much amount of balloon is there. Just uh, for your understanding, let us consider that this much amount of balloon is there filled of gas. And when I will open the valve, then whatever gas is present in this balloon, that will be transferred in the bottom. So, eventually, when this bottle is completely filled and if I will close the valve, then what will be the volume after the uh, after filling the bottle of this balloon? So, obviously, you will say, sir, whatever uh, gas was present in the balloon itself, those whole gas is filled into the bottle. So, this balloon will reach or gain the value of volume as zero. Right? So, that means what this balloon is collapsing or this envelope is collect, collapsing after completely filling the bottle. Okay, so meaning of this sentence is that. So that means here the volume is changing. Initially you will have some value of the volume. So how much will be the value? See, simple. How much will be the value of this volume? Simple. Let me write it down. The value corresponding to this particular envelope of the volume will be what? Simple. See, 
what is the value of specific volume? Specific volume is equal to small v p because we will write the property of pipeline because it is nothing but the component of the pipeline that is about to enter into the water. And what will be the mass corresponding to this volume envelope? So mass corresponding to this envelope is how much? You know that, right? M2 minus M1, right? So M2 minus M1 into specific volume VP, right? So this much amount of gas will be entering into the bottle. Okay, now if this is entering into the bottle, then after a certain time when the bottle is completely filled, then this envelope will attain the zero value, right? So that means you have changed the volume and if the volume is changed, then work will be occurring or work will occur, okay? Because we know that work transfer is volume. If the volume is changed, then work will happen. So that is why we can write W is equal to that is why we can write W is equal to, you can see over here, that PP, that is uh, pressure in the pipeline, into volume at second point minus volume before filling. Volume at second point means what? Volume after, after filling and volume at first point is what? Volume before filling. So you know that volume after filling the, the bottle, this volume means what? This volume is for envelope, okay? So envelope volume after filling the bottle will be zero. So that is why V2 is equal to zero written over here. I hope you can appreciate that. And V1 value is what? Envelope volume before filling the bottle, right? So before filling the bottle, the vol uh, vol value of the volume will be how much? M2 minus M1 into VP, right? So that is here written. Now, uh, since here it is 0, so we will write down as minus M2 minus M1 PP into VP. That much amount of work is done. And since here it is a negative sign, so what we can interpret? We can interpret that the work is imparted on the system. Right? So here you can see the, this much amount of work is imparted into the board. Okay? So now, the, we have W, we have delta E, so this is a process because it is not constituting a cycle. So we know that for a process, what is the first law? Q is equal to delta E plus W. So we have delta E also and W also. Sum, sum, do the summation of both the terms. So we can write down the first law as this equation. Right? Simply I have do the summation. Now here if you observe, then M2 minus M1, last two terms, M2 minus M1 can be taken as common. So what we can write, VP square by 2 plus UP, right, plus PPVP. And you know that U plus PV will represent what? Enthalpy. So I can write HP over here, right, simple. I am repeating again, M2 minus M1 is taken as common and U plus PV will give me enthalpy HP, right. So now that is the first law. If, let us consider that initially if the bottle is completely empty, so if the bottle is completely empty, then M1 will be zero. So here this M1 term will be neglected and here also this M1 term will be neglected, right? So this will be zero and this will be zero. So what we can write M2 U2 minus M2 VP square by 2 plus HP. So let us write down M2 U2 minus M2 VP square by 2 plus HP, right? So this is how you can write the equation. So if the insulation is complete, that means if the bottle is completely insulated, then heat transfer will be equal to zero. So Q is equal to zero, right? So, and compared to the velocity term, if the enthalpy term is very much higher, right? For example, 2000 kilojoule and the velocity is, let us say, for example, 500. So at that time, the value of the HP is very much greater than the value of kinetic energy. So you can neglect the value of VP square by two. Okay, and you can neglect the value of Q. So what we can write, M2 U2 minus M2 HP is equal to zero. So you can write M2 U2 minus M2 HP is equal to zero. So if you will take M2 U2 on the other side, then M2 and M2 will get cancelled out. So we can write U2 is equal to HP. So U2 is equal to HP. And you know that HP is equal to what? UP plus PPVP, right? H is equal to UPV, right? And this can be written only when the gas is assumed to be ideal. Okay, now what is the meaning of this sentence? Let us understand very important students. The meaning of this sentence is that, that let us consider this 
and these two terms. If in these two terms, if we will take this up term on the left hand side of the equal to sign, then what will happen? It will become as the equation will become as u2 minus up, right, is equal to pp into vp, right? I can write like this. So that means what pp into vp is what flow work. So flow work is used to change the internal energy of the gas from of the pipeline to the u2. See what will have, what is the meaning of u2 minus up? Meaning of u2 minus up is that that when you are filling the gas into the bottle, then its internal energy is increasing. And how much internal energy is increasing? U2 minus up. Because up is what internal energy of the gas in the pipeline. U2 is what internal energy of the gas when the bottle is completely filled. So difference between these two will give you what? Change in internal energy when you are filling the gas into the bottle. And this change in internal energy, that means the internal energy of the gas has increased when you are filling it into the bottle. And they, that increase has occurred due to what? It has occurred at the expense of the flow work, PPVP. Okay, it is very important to understand. So that uh, thing is written in the form of sentence over here. Okay, now if you will take this uh, two terms, that is U2 is equal to HP for this idle gas, right? U2 is equal to HP. Then you know that U is nothing but internal energy is equal to what? Cv into T2 and uh, H enthalpy is what? Cp into Tp, right? Because corresponding to 2, the temperature will be T2 and that is uh, temperature of the bottle after completely filling and Tp means what temperature of the gas in the pipeline. Okay, so now we know that Cp by Cv is nothing but gamma, so T2 is equal to gamma into Tp. Now this 2 will give me what temperature of the gas after completely filling the bottle inside the gas, inside the bottle, right? And the Tp will give me what temperature of the gas in the pipeline. So now let us consider that temperature of the pipeline gas is, let us say for example, 27 degrees Celsius, that is ambient, that is 300 Kelvin. Then uh, T2 will be equal to what? 420 Kelvin that is equal to 147 degrees Celsius. Meaning of this is very interesting. Understand students that is if you will fill atmospheric air in a bottle which is at having temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. So after completely filling the gas temperature or the air temperature in the bottle will reach to 147 degrees Celsius. So that is the reason that if you will fill the CNG gas in your car so after filling the CNG gas in the bottle, the bottle will be somewhat hot, right? So that is the real life under. So this is the example of completely filling the bottle. Now if the bottle is completely empty, that means what? At that time, instead of M1, you will have to take M2 as 0, right? And you can write the consequences and derive it by yourself also. That is very simple. M2, make M2 as 0. So M1, U1, right? minus what will be the equation equation will be very simple m1 u1 minus m1 h vp square by 2 plus hp right and we will we can neglect the terms in the same manner okay so that is how you can derive the equation for filling and emptying process so today we are going to keep up to this point thank you